He said, Huang Yu, Bai Sun, and then Yuan Yu and Zhang Zhuan. Take a good look. Consider it as a learning opportunity. Understood. Sweat poured down his face as he thought, I don't even know how to hold a pencil to draw, and now using a brush pen. If I had known it would be like this today, I wouldn't have come even if you paid me. He said, Let's use drawing as a way to make friends. No need to set topics anymore. You and you, you're the senior. You draw first. He also responded, All right, then I'll go first. He dipped the brush into the inkwell, then stroked his beard in thought. Just in a fleeting moment, as the ink dropped, he immediately demonstrated exquisite strokes. Once he started drawing, he was very focused, immersed in his work. This surprised newcomers, like Huang Yu and Bai Sun. She said, This is the state of profound comprehension. He also said, Yes, the third realm, profound comprehension. Conversely, Zhang Zhuan looked worried, his face no longer refined in thought. I used to think that in calligraphy and painting, the one who draws most similar is the best. Only after hearing this did I realize that drawing most similar is just the lowest realm. After a while, he set down his brush. He smiled and said, It's been a while since I've painted. The strokes are a bit rough. It's laughable. She immediately asked him, Master Lu, is this the painting of profound comprehension? Lu Chen replied, Yes, this painting has reached the realm of profound comprehension, but it's only reached that level. As for why it's like this, let the two of you critique it. Then later, whoever gives the most accurate answer wins. Master Yu and Yu, you finished your painting. Zhang Chuan, little brother, it's your turn. Hearing his reminder, he stiffened and asked, Me? He worriedly thought to himself, I have to paint for real, but I don't know what to draw at all. Can't draw a chicken, then draw the sun and call it a phoenix. If it's really like this, then I might as well be killed right here today. He quickly jumped up and said, This, um, I could read a book first before drawing. Curiously, he asked, Read a book? What book do you want to read? Do you want calligraphy books? Stumbled upon a stumbling block. Hit right in the black heart, he said, No, it's that my mental state is difficult to transition. Every time before I paint, I have to read a large amount of books to minimize it. Only then can I produce higher quality work. Master Yuan said, a good piece of work is always related to one's mental state. It's a matter of fortune and circumstance. You're still young. If you don't adjust your mental state well, it's indeed difficult to produce a good piece of work. Lu Chen, your study room has plenty of calligraphy books. Let him read them. We'll wait here for him to adjust, then demonstrate his skills for us to see. Recalling the previous blow, he worriedly said, Last time after reading the books, I wasn't careful and took a hit. But he also had to say, So be it. Do you know where my study room is? He replied, I do. Thank you, master. He also said, Little brother, just be natural. I won't escort you there anymore. As he walked, he calculated, Although through the golden books, it's possible to transform all the knowledge from reincarnation, until now, into one's own, mostly related to cultivation techniques, martial arts, alchemy. But I haven't read any books on calligraphy yet, so I don't understand anything. Although the Heavenly Way bookstore can identify all flaws and copy all its knowledge, it can't instantly turn me into a true master calligrapher, unless I read enough about drawing techniques to create a special Heavenly Way book. She wondered and asked right after he left, reading books to adjust one's mental state, Master Lu, why have I never heard of this before? He also explained to her, adjusting one's mental state, it's different for everyone. It's hard to explain. You and you continued. Actually, this is related to habits. There was a strong practitioner, Xiao Cheng, who became famous for selling firewood. Bei Sun said, Is Master referring to Lu Ka Lauren? He replied, Exactly, it's Lu Ka Lauren. You all know about his path to fame, filled with obstacles and hardships. But what you don't know is that before he fought with others, he also had to adjust his mental state. And the way he did that was by chopping wood. He would often lock himself in his room, chopping wood all day long, which could elevate his mental state to its peak. Indeed, there are many cases like this. Zhang Xuan needs to read books to adjust his mental state. There's nothing strange about it. It's just. Lu Chen said, You on you. Just say it. It's fine. He said frankly, When I finished painting earlier, I glanced at him, but he looked bewildered at my painting. 
as if he didn't understand anything about calligraphy. Lu Chen remarked, even though he's a skilled physician in observing others, he could recognize both the Immortal Herb and Scarlet Sky Destroyer, so it's probably not the case. He laughed and said, Oh, maybe I was mistaken. We'll know when he comes out to draw later. Lu Chen asked him, By the way, you and you, who are you going to visit this afternoon? He replied, Oh, I heard that a renowned master named Yang Zuan has just arrived in the city, curing the illnesses of Ling Tian Yu and Du Mo Tian with unusual methods. So I want to go there and see. Lu Chen exclaimed in surprise upon hearing this, renowned master. He said, indeed, or shall we go together? I know about calligraphy, and you always want to break through the fourth realm like Senior Chao Cheng. Perhaps getting pointers from a renowned master could help. Huan Yu asked, is that renowned master you and you mentioned real? Bei Sun replied, it seems so, it seems like all the major families in the city are going to pay their respects. The two masters agreed. All right. Let's do that. We'll wait until they finish their tests, then we'll go. At the school, there was a martial arts competition between Mok Xiao and Zheng Yang. Mok Xiao said, I've just learned a new set of spear techniques these past few days. I want to test myself against you. Zheng Yang replied, All right. Outside, all four of them were watching. Liu Yang asked, Who do you think will win between the two? Yuan Tao said, I heard that because of this teacher's assessment. Teacher Wang passed down some ancestral spear techniques to Mek Xiao. Upon hearing this, Zhao Ya exclaimed in surprise, Ancestral spear techniques? Are you talking about the royal spear techniques? Liu Yang asked, Is the royal spear technique very famous? Wang Yin replied, In Tian Shuang City, there are two royal spear techniques. One is our family's royal spear technique, belonging to one of the four major clans, and the other is the royal spear technique from the Wang clan the great master of spear techniques. Wang Cheng is even called the number one spear technique master in Tianjuan City. Even Shen Tu King praises him highly. The self-created royal spear technique is even more formidable, a supreme technique that countless spear practitioners aspire to have. Liu Yang asked in amazement. That's impressive. Then Zheng Yang is probably going to lose. But Zhao Ye had a different opinion. She said, not necessarily. Before Zheng Yang's strength was far inferior to mine, but after learning Teacher Zhang's spear technique, his momentum has been getting stronger every day. So if they fight for real, we'll have to see who is more proficient in martial arts. Yu and Tao, standing nearby, said, however, the royal spear technique is so formidable, usually not passed outside. It's surprising that Teacher Wang broke this rule to teach him several techniques for this teacher evaluation with Teacher Zhang, truly generous. Focusing on the match, Mek Xiao said, Teacher Wang imparted three techniques of the royal spear technique to me. Third consciousness, seventh consciousness, thirteenth consciousness. So you better be careful. Zhen Yang also didn't hesitate, saying, Then let's begin. Mek Xiao struck first. Third consciousness, cold, radiant initiation. The blow was quite powerful, but Zhen Yang managed to block it. He exclaimed excitedly, the spear technique is truly formidable. Outside, Wang Yin worriedly said, Zhao Ya, if Meng Xiao has learned such formidable spear techniques, why didn't he wait until the competition to test himself against Zheng Yang, instead of coming here now? Zhao Ya could only sigh, and Liu Yang spoke up, saying, it's brotherly love. Meng Xiao and Zheng Yang grew up together since childhood. If he were to compete with Zheng Yang, there would surely be some resistance in his heart. So he specifically sought out a good friend, saying it's a competition. But in reality, he wants to let his friend know what he has learned to prepare Zheng Yang. Yu and Tao also understood and said, Don't you see? Before the competition, he's revealing the techniques he's learned. It's not usual to announce what techniques one will use in a competition. The competition was intense, with neither side giving an inch. The current momentum seemed to be favoring Muk Xiao, as he kept relentlessly attacking Zheng Yang not giving him a chance to catch his breath. Thirteenth Consciousness, Divine Willow's Retribution. He exclaimed as he launched an assault, pushing Zheng Yang back. Zheng Yang had to admit, the spear technique is truly formidable. He lowered his spear to slow down the pace. When it was his turn to strike, he said, your spear technique is impressive, but you won't get it all. Nuk Sao, now let me show you the spear technique that Teacher Zhang taught me. Although I can't soar like a giant dragon yet, but I can. 
He unleashed the Emperor Jelong's escape to sea technique, sending a water dragon flying towards Mak Xiao. Seeing this technique for the first time, Mak Xiao was filled with fear. He can only stand still and watch the incoming technique. Such formidable energy, he muttered as the powerful technique sent him flying uncontrollably. Seeing this, Zhen Yang quickly retracted his stance and called out loudly, Mak Xiao. The two girls finally understood and admired. So that's it. The friendship between those boys is truly divine. Upon seeing it, all four of them looked surprised and said, so even the royal spear technique is like this, and teacher Zhang's spear technique is just as formidable. We should go back and take advantage of the time to study. We can't seek out Zheng Yang for sparring at this moment. He stepped forward to support Mak Xiao and reassured him, it's okay. Breathing heavily, he asked him, yeah, it's okay. Thankfully, you managed to retract the move. What technique is this? He smiled and replied, this is a spear technique that Teacher John passed down to me. He looked bewildered upon hearing the answer. Passed down by Teacher John, such a powerful spear technique, and he passed it down to you. He thought to himself, this technique is much more sophisticated than the royal spear technique. Yet he easily passed it down to Zhang Yang, like this, truly amazing. He admired the teacher and said, Teacher Zhang has never held back anything for himself. He is a truly selfless teacher. Mak Xiao asked him, This technique is so powerful. I'm truly impressed. Could you tell me its name? He pondered for a moment and then said, Its name. I don't even know its name. It's a creation of Teacher Zhang, and it hasn't been named yet. Upon hearing this, he wanted to exclaim, A creation, not named yet. Then he thought, This set of spear techniques is much more powerful than the royal spear technique. Even claiming to be the number one spear technique in Tian Xuan City is not enough. Yet it's still unnamed, he said. Or perhaps you could help me think of a good name. He replied, You, Zheng Yang, need to be cautious with your words. Every martial art you create is their dedication, giving it a name that can endure through the ages. If you give it a name carelessly and it gets discovered, it would be a disrespect to their dedication. He chuckled, disrespecting their dedication. It's fine. Teacher Zhang instructed me to do so. Nothing hidden. The cultivation techniques we practice were all created by Teacher Zhang, but the names are our own inventions. He was shocked to hear this and thought, What? They're self-made. And he asks them to name them. He has already created martial arts techniques for the students, and now he lets them name them too. What kind of teacher is Zhang Zhuan? In Lu Chen's room, he pondered over some books, truly worthy of being a master. It seems like he brought back all the calligraphy books from Tan Zuan City. Some of these books are quite good, precise. He began to focus, while outside Lu Chen was approaching to call him. As he walked, Lu Chen pondered, It's almost the end of the third watch. Why is Zhang Zhuan still? He was focusing on absorbing knowledge, calligraphy, martial arts principles, and painting. This could help eliminate fatigue and stabilize one's mental state. Seeing him like this, Lu Chen entered and looked at him, not understanding what he was doing. What is he doing? Could it be another moment of enlightenment? As he opened his eyes, their gazes met, causing them both to startle and step back. He asked, Master Lu Chen, what brings you here? He replied, have you made a breakthrough this time? He answered, no breakthrough yet. He breathed a sigh of relief and said, that's good then. I noticed you weren't coming out, so I came to check on you. Waving his hand dismissively, he said, breakthroughs aren't that simple. His expression changed subtly as he muttered to himself, last time, it seemed just as simple for you to leave. But this time, there's been no breakthrough here. If not, I'll have to consider not letting you into the study anymore. Then he asked, so, is your mental state adjusted now? He happily replied, yes, it is. He responded, let's go then. They're still waiting for you to paint in the living room. He hesitated, saying, I feel embarrassed, making everyone wait for so long. They said, All good, Master Zhang. Have you finished adjusting? Master Liu replied, Then let's start drawing. He hummed in agreement, pondering which pen to choose, while they eagerly exclaimed, Finally, we get to see Master Zhang draw. Exactly, we've been anticipating this for so long. Well, it wasn't a waste to wait for a few hours. He picked up the pens, feeling them then dipped one into the inkwell and licked it. 
which made everyone freeze in confusion, saying, Master Zhang, this isn't your first time holding a pen, is it? The first time I held a pen, I did the same. Earlier, he was reading a book for inspiration. Don't tell me he's learning how to draw now. After a while, he said, All right, let's begin. He tossed the pen stylishly, then immersed himself in drawing, re-dipping the pen, extremely focused, unlike it was his first time holding a pen. Lu Chen exclaimed in amazement, This is, soaring dragons on the left and right. Bei Sun asked, What is soaring dragons on the left and right? Master Yun explained, Some skilled calligraphers invented this method to increase drawing speed. Master Lu still in awe said, Judging by the appearance, splitting the mind into two, opening the realm of imagination, using two pens, starting to draw from both sides, left and right, without needing structure or any precise points, colors. The whole painting emerges in the mind, then continuously moves into the center of the painting, and when the two pens meet, the painting is completed. Master Yuan also remarked, although this method reduces drawing time by half, it's extremely difficult. Across from them, Lu Chen was still immersed in the drawing, commenting, First, you must accurately grasp the size of the drawing, then split your focus into two, ensuring no mistakes occur. Finally, you must firmly grasp the colors in your hand. Only when drawing symmetrically on both sides can problems be avoided. Honestly, this is an extremely sophisticated skill that even you and you and I couldn't accomplish. Their two disciples exclaimed in admiration, impressive. He said, this dual drawing technique requires utmost confidence in the painting to complete. Moreover, without practicing for 10 years or so, it's difficult to achieve, but he does it effortlessly. However, you and you interjected with a solemn tone. It's astonishing. The entire section of the painting from left to right must be seamlessly connected to be considered a true success. If it's not connected, it's all artificial. Soaring dragons on the left and right, opening the realm of imagination is indeed impressive. But no matter how beautifully the two sides are drawn, if they're not connected in the end, it's all a failure. Master Yu and Yu examined Zhang Zhuan's brushstrokes and remarked, indeed, emphasizing the concept of scenery is crucial in painting. Without the essence of scenery, no matter how magical the strokes, they are futile. Soaring dragons on the left and right symbolize splitting the painting into two, implying that if the scenery carries a crack, then he furrowed his brows, his expression grave, and continued. Even if this painting seamlessly connects, it would still be challenging to achieve the third scene. Artistic skills, when too enchanting, overshadowing the original purpose of the painting, only magnify flaws. Observing Yu and Yu's tension, Master Lu Chen chuckled, adding, Zhang Zhuan is still young. It's common for him to seek prominence. Yu and Yu, stroking his beards, scoffed. Creating the finest painting merely for the sake of standing out is akin to the methods used by those craftsmen in the streets to mass produce. Without changing this habit, one might struggle to achieve greatness throughout their life. Bai Sun and Huang Yu felt overwhelmed as a flood of knowledge inundated their minds, unable to process at all. Bai Sun, who had been watching Zhang Zhuan paint attentively, exclaimed in amazement, he's starting to connect them. Master Zhang's fingers danced like phoenixes as they swiftly connected the strokes on the painting. Lu Chen widened his eyes in astonishment, almost disbelieving what he saw. How is this possible? On the canvas, one side depicted figures while the other portrayed objects. One side was tranquil while the other dynamic, representing two scenarios, two states with distinct meanings. The great master Lu contemplated the conflicting sides that were once at odds now suddenly unite under one wall in Chang, Giving people a sense of perfection, the divine brushwork is absolutely divine. You and you, the great master, also praised. Impressive, to be so far reaching from just one wall, to the edge of the sky. Teacher Zhang smiled and replied, laughing at it, invite you all to appraise it. Lu Chen hurriedly approached and said, let me see. He carefully examined each stroke, while Wang Yu also admired the painting up close, the more I look, the more beautiful it seems. But after a while of contemplation, the two great masters shook their heads, their faces solemn as they said. Regrettably, Zhang Zhuan, puzzled behind them, asked, This painting is very beautiful. What's wrong with it? As someone knowledgeable in poetry and painting like Yu and Yu, he explained meticulously, 
There is nothing to fault in this painting. No flaws whatsoever. The color coordination is extremely perfect. It's just as I said before, the merging of left and right is too emphasized. Overly focusing on details detracts from the scene's essence. Without the scene's essence, at most, it only reaches the nascent soul's second realm, still far from the enduring essence. Lu Chen also agreed. Indeed, it's a pity. However, Zhang Zhuan, being younger, may reach our level with time. Then, he might freely paint scenes from the heart, even the four scenes. The great master Yuan turned to gently advise him. Zhang, younger brother, though you may possess some talent, it's best for young people to be a bit more modest. Zhang Zhuan seemed to not understand where he lacked modesty, asking, Modesty? Still scratching his head, he replied with a chuckle. Yes, it's because I've wasted too much time, deeply sorry. He then earnestly lectured, Your basic foundation is not bad. Work on cultivating it further, explore the world more, and then painting scenes from the heart will only be a matter of time. Don't squander your innate talent due to arrogance. The great master Lu Chen, also kindly reminded. Indeed, to paint scenes with meaning, one must first observe extensively, have a broad understanding of the world, and possess deep knowledge of the surroundings. Teacher Zhang nodded respectfully. I humbly accept your guidance. Bei Sun scrutinized the painting and wondered, but why do the people and animals in Master Zhang's painting have no eyes? Huang Yu also noticed this and asked, Did you forget to draw them? Upon hearing this, Lu Chen glanced over, and indeed found that none of the living beings had eyes. Zhang Zhuan chuckled and said, I'll add them now. He put his brush to the painting, delicately adding eyes to the figures. Suddenly, the painting on the table radiated brilliance, astonishing everyone in the room, who exclaimed in amazement, This is! The people and animals in the painting gently came to life, flying out of the canvas, lively and agile like real beings. Everyone had to look up in admiration, remarking, it's like a scene from a fairy tale. Huang Yu hastily asked, Is this the fourth scene? The great master Lu Chen still gazed at the scenery without blinking. He denied, No, this is the fifth scene, the scene of spiritual transformation, with six senses, dynamic, enduring essence, vibrant vitality. It's the widest scene realm that we pass down. In reality, there is another level above it, which is spiritual transformation. The people and objects in the painting not only manifest, but also come forward to bow in gratitude to Zhang Zhuan. Attaining this realm, infused with vitality and spirit, the Grand Master's calligraphy and painting can actively absorb spiritual energy, endowing everything in the painting with life as if possessing a soul. The Great Master Yu and Yu couldn't help but exclaim, I always thought this existed only in legends, never expected to witness it with my own eyes. Prince Zhen Nanwang turned and asked, Master Zhang, Grandfather Zhang, can you give this painting to me? Just give it to me, I'll do anything you ask. Zhang Zhuan, astonished, asked, Give it to you. He nodded in response. Yes, everyone has always held you in high regard. Please give it to me. Huan Yu interjected with reproach. Bai son, what are you doing? This painting was just completed by Master Zhang, containing so many of his emotions. How can you casually give it away? Show some restraint. Turning immediately, he inquired, Master Zhang, we've known each other the longest, I won't ask you to give it away. How about selling it to me instead? Name your price, as long as I can afford it, I won't say much more. Bei Sun, hearing this, exclaimed in astonishment, What are you playing at? Huang Yu and Bai Sun were vying for the painting, with Huang Yu questioning. Bai Sun, what are you saying? Wasn't it you who wanted the heavenly diagram of Master Lu Chen? I won't compete with you anymore. I just want this set. Is that acceptable? Bai Sun, equally unwilling to yield, retorted, I don't need the heavenly diagram either. Can you stop competing with me? Previously, these two had fought bitterly over the heavenly diagram, to the point of near death, wishing they could physically harm each other. Today, in this competition to determine who was worthy of attaining it, Things had taken a turn for the worse. With Zhang Zhuan's painting just completed, they seemed to dismiss it as worthless. Lu Chen remained silent, contemplating as he watched the two disciples arguing vehemently. Wang Yu gritted her teeth, saying, Bai Sun, are you trying to oppose me? He countered, You're the one opposing me. 
I'm the one who wants this painting first. I said it first. Unable to tolerate it any longer, the imposing figure of Lu Chan roared, Enough. Consider me the grandmaster of calligraphy and painting. Even to create a painting depicting the fifth realm requires a significant expenditure of vitality and spirit. Few paintings of such caliber exist throughout one's lifetime. Lu Chen, as dignified as a mountain, gestured towards Teacher Zhang, continuing sternly, This painting, painstakingly crafted by Zhang Zhuan, is entirely his decision whether to keep it or give it away. Your squabble here is futile. Each painting of the five realms is precious, encapsulating the dedication of its author. It's not something to be given or sold lightly. Upon hearing the loud reprimand, Wang Yu and Bai Sun both reacted, their faces sheepishly bowed in apology. It's our fault, Master Lu, Master Zhang. It's our fault. After scolding them, Master Lu Jian looked towards Zhang Zhuan, his face filled with remorse as he said, Zhang, it's because they don't understand. Please don't blame them. Seeing the lack of anger from the other side, Lu Jian's eyes filled with surprise as he asked, Master Lu, does my painting really have buyers? Can it really be sold for money? Seeing his expression, Lu Chen had to laugh awkwardly. If a painting like this doesn't fetch a price, then what you've been painting should just be thrown away. He stroked his beard and replied, Your painting has reached the soul refining stage. If sold, it would fetch at least two million gold coins, but it's very difficult to sell. Upon hearing about the money, Zhang Zhuan's eyes lit up with joy as he asked again, Two million gold coins? That's great. Turning happily to Bai Sun, he said, Bai Sun, if you want to buy, I'll sell it to you for two million. Not expecting such a turn of events, Bai Sun asked in shock, Really? Huang Yu, anxious beside him, demanded, Master Zhang, I also want to buy. Zhang Zhuan waved his hand casually and, with a cheerful smile, replied, No rush, if you want it too, I'll paint another one for you. It's not a big deal. The great master Yu and Yu trembled his eyes staring as if seeing a monster, and remarked, adding another step isn't a big deal. Don't make it sound like picking vegetables in the market. Even Master Lu Chen was taken aback, then exclaimed, even if you're the revered master of calligraphy and painting, if this soul-refining stage painting can be easily extended, then artworks of the five realms wouldn't be as rare and precious, and there wouldn't be any in Tian Zhuang City. Seeing the silence around, Zhang Zhuan asked them, so, you don't want it. Huang Yu quickly responded, No, we don't. Without wasting words, Zhang Chuan took out a blank piece of paper and said, If not, that's fine. I'll sell it now. The two great masters exclaimed in amazement, To really paint another soul refining stage painting? This. Seeing their anticipation, he couldn't help but ask, Do you both want it? It's also two million each. Yu and Yu and Lu Chen hesitated, We'll take it. Teacher John replied succinctly, As long as you pay, it's fine. They quickly expressed their gratitude. Thank you for your trouble. Huang Yu and Bai Sun no longer needed the heavenly diagram, so the assessment was no longer meaningful. They happily held a soul refining stage painting each, saying to Zhang, Master Zhang, we'll quickly transfer the two million to you. Tomorrow, we'll bring it to the academy. With their wealth, it was easy to produce two million. Teacher Zhang held four million gold notes in his hand, delighted, thinking, if I add Bai, Sun, and Huang Yu, this trip will earn a total of eight million. Treating Ling Tian Yu's illness will cost one million, the cultivation resources for Du Mo Tian, Wang Cheng, Chen Chao, and La Song will total about three million. Adding what I have now, it's already twenty million. Originally, earning more than twenty million would take at least eighteen years. But now, it seems unnecessary to struggle like that anymore. Master Lu Chen rolled up the scroll with a cheerful tone. Zhang, my junior, I value you highly, so I'll address you as junior from now on. Shen Tu King is returning today, and I already sent someone to inform him. Continuing, he said, There's nothing urgent, so tomorrow we can take a visit to the scroll repository of the city. Zhang Zhuan nodded eagerly. Tomorrow is fine. That's great. As he left the mansion. The evening sky had already settled in. Lu Chen quickly informed. Then I'll head back first. He walked him to the door and reminded, Tomorrow, I'll send someone to inform Senior Zhang. He turned back to Yu and Yu. It seems we won't have time to visit Yang Zhuan, the famous artist, today. 
You and you, in good spirits, suggested, that's all right, we can go tomorrow without delay. Stepping into the courtyard, Lu Chen added, I also think that this Zhang Jr. is just a young man who enjoys calligraphy and painting. He may have some talent, so I'd like to test him out and then accept him as my disciple. Almost in a dreamlike state, he couldn't believe he was actually a master of calligraphy and painting. Yu and Yu also had to commend, to be so young and already a sage of painting. I wonder what background this senior Zhang has. Suddenly remembering, Lu Chen turned back and asked, Huang Yu, you and Bai Sun have been to Hong Thang Academy. Do you know anything about this senior Zhang? If you do, please tell us. Miss Wang hesitated for a moment before responding. I only know a little, but I'm afraid if I say it, you won't believe me, and besides, it might upset someone. Lu Chen maintained his cheerful demeanor and reassured her. Upset? What do I have to be upset about? Go ahead and speak. It's fine. Seeing that the senior's mood was good, you and you spoke without hesitation. This Master Zhang Zhuan at Hong Thang Academy is famous for being a useless teacher, subjected to humiliation by others. When it was mentioned that he scored zero in the teacher qualification examination, the two senior masters were also surprised and asked, teaching students to walk the wrong path, how is that possible? A master of calligraphy and painting, who can create a soul-refining stage masterpiece, how could he be considered useless? She speculated, it must be the education bureau targeting him intentionally. You and you, upon hearing this, felt indignant, despicable. I met this Shang Chen once before and thought he was a fair person, but I didn't expect him to stoop so low. He continued, Wang Yu, aren't you a student of a renowned master? Moreover, your father is also the head of the teacher's association. You should definitely educate, and this kind of person is tarnishing the reputation. Miss Yuan replied, I have already discussed this matter with my father. Lu Chen was also extremely angry, saying, This is truly infuriating. It seems that we'll have to find the headmaster of Hong Thien and have a conversation with him to ensure proper management and conduct at the academy. However, you and you hesitated and added, Actually, I don't think this is what will make him angry. He asked again, Not this? Could it be that Senior Zhang is subjected to unjust punishment? She elaborated, It's not that, but rather, in recent days, there have been people in the academy challenging him, conducting teacher evaluations. Lu Chen was bewildered. Challenges, teacher evaluations. You and you understood this matter. Teacher evaluations, although it's a competition among students, it affects the dignity of the teacher's position. So if they understand Senior Zhang's true ability, they might not dare to do such things anymore. It's not as simple as it seems. Huan Yu explained to them. It's not certain yet. That teacher is very famous at Hong Fan Academy, a truly renowned educator. Moreover, he has an immense number of students under his wing. At least 200 out of the top 300 students are his disciples. Almost the entire student body has been taught by him. And this sounds familiar. Lu Chen hastily asked, Who is this teacher? Yu and Yu replied, It's none other than the son of Senior Lu, Teacher Lu Shen. Upon hearing this, Senior Lu became furious and cursed. This despicable creature, detestable. The person who offended his friend turned out to be his own son. He angrily wanted to find his son to sell the score, shouting angrily, I just befriended someone, and yet he forces me into a corner. I have to find that despicable creature and teach him a lesson. If there's any misunderstanding, I'll still punish that despicable scoundrel. Senior Yuan hurriedly intervened. Calm down, there might be some misunderstanding. Huan Yu also didn't dare to rush out, expressing concern. Senior Lu. Are you sure you're not angry? Just then, a servant entered and called out, Sir. Senior Lu shouted loudly, What's the matter? Has that scoundrel returned? The servant, Xiao Cheng, responded in confusion, Scoundrel? No, it's Shen Tu Kain who sent someone with a message. Royal decree. The two seniors were puzzled, thinking, We were supposed to take someone to the scroll repository tomorrow, so why send someone with a decree today? Senior Lu then reached out to receive the royal decree. As he opened it, he exclaimed in surprise, This! Seeing his tense expression, Senior Yuan quickly asked, What's wrong? Senior Lu handed the decree to him, saying, See for yourself. Senior Yuan was also astonished, saying, This can't be. 
Senior Liu then ordered, Shen Tuu, personally write a letter to me. Send someone over only after it's confirmed. Xiao Cheng, prepare the horses immediately. I must go out. The servant respectfully replied, Yes, sir. Senior Liu didn't say much, quickly leaving with Senior Yuan for the royal palace of Tian Zhuan City. As they dismounted from their horses and approached the gate guards, they inquired, Has the king arrived yet? Recognizing Lu Chen's status, the gatekeeper respectfully replied, Yes, Senior Lu, the king has not arrived yet. Lu Chen nodded and said, If he hasn't arrived, then we'll wake here. He turned to speculate, Shen Tu King, it must be about the elder's matter. Honestly, I've examined it. It's not an illness, but rather the end of his strong vitality. Yu Yu also agreed. If there's no breakthrough, I'm afraid he won't live through this month. He added, I always thought the king went hunting as an ounce, but I didn't expect him to be handling this. After a while, a spacious horse-drawn carriage slowly approached, surrounded by guards on all sides. At a glance, it was evident that it was the king. Here he comes. As the carriage curtain was drawn aside, a middle-aged man in luxurious attire stepped out. The soldiers around immediately knelt down, and the two senior teachers also bowed, saying, Greetings, Your Majesty. Shen Tu King solemnly spoke, Teachers, Senior Yu and Yu, you have all arrived. Lu Chen hurriedly asked, King, regarding the royal decree, what is it about the elder? Shen Tu King nodded and replied, Indeed, let's discuss it inside. There are other guests waiting indoors. Entering inside, the king continued, Sages Liu, John, and Cheng. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Your presence in Tan Xuan City is truly an honor for me. Hearing the term sages, Lu Chen and Yuan Yu were both surprised and stepped forward. One of the sages replied, King is gracious. We are not here solely for the matter concerning the elder. The one who spoke was Sage Liu, a one-star sage. Alongside him were Sage John, also a one-star sage, and finally Sage Chang, also a one-star sage. Sage Liu continued, Firstly, we are here to extend our wishes for Tian's longevity. Secondly, we've heard about a promising seedling emerging from Hong Fan Academy, and I'm interested to see if it's worthy of being taken as a disciple. Shen Tu King immediately understood. Sage Liu is referring to teacher Lu Shen, indeed. He is renowned for his teaching prowess, and is highly esteemed in Tian Zhuang City. I've heard of him as well. He added, regarding his background, he is the only son of teacher Lu Chen. Turning to Lu Chen, Sage Liu smiled and remarked, Lu Chen is the preeminent painting sage of this era. I've heard about him long ago. Lu Chen hurriedly bowed and replied, Sage Liu, your praise is too generous. While the position of a painting sage may be higher, there is still a significant difference compared to a true sage. After the pleasantries, Sage Liu wasted no time and said, All right. Let's dispense with the formalities. Let's get to the main point. Earlier, we went inside to examine the elder. Shen Tu King hastily inquired, Three sages, do you have a solution? Sage Chang pushed his glasses up and said, King, to be frank, Shen Hong's body is extremely frail. If it were three years ago, I might have had a way to help him break through. Unfortunately, now he is nearing death, and there's nothing more we can do. Sage Zhan chimed in, I agree with this suggestion. He's old and weak, and forcing a breakthrough might not only fail, but also endanger his life. Following suit, Sage Li also concurred. They're not wrong. Life and death have their own course. Shen Hong has devoted himself to Tan Zhuang City for many years. If he can't overcome this, it might be seen as a form of liberation. Shen Tu King looked disappointed and replied, So be it. He thought, initially, I thought you and you couldn't diagnose it which is why I called the three sages. I was sure they'd find a solution. It's unexpected to end up with this result. Sage Liu tried to console him. Don't be too disheartened. Although we are sages, we are only one-star sages. If King can invite two-star sages or sages of higher ranks, there might still be a solution. King sighed, two-star sages. Inviting three one-star sages already cost a fortune. Now in this situation, inviting two-star sages seems like a hopeless endeavor. Just as he felt all hope was lost, Sage Yuan Yu suddenly spoke up. King, I've heard some information that might be helpful. Master Yuan Yu revealed the news he had just learned, saying, A few days ago, someone arrived in the city, 
presumably a sage, and it seems they are not just a one-star sage. Shen Tui, astonished, asked, A sage? Not just a one-star. Thinking to himself, could it be the five-star announcement that Elder Qian mentioned? They've been around for days, and I haven't had time to check. Yu Yu replied, Exactly. This sage can easily cure Ling Tian Yu's wife's illness, and even resolve Du Mo Tian's long-standing condition. Upon hearing this, Sage Li remarked, Curing illnesses is indeed the work of a sage. Sage Cheng added, Although sages possess various abilities, their primary focus is still aiding others in breakthroughs. Healing illnesses is more suited to medical masters. Sage John also inquired with curiosity, What is the name of this sage you speak of? It seems like most two-star sages in the city are well known. Master Yuan Yu responded, His name is Yang Zuan, but I wouldn't watch else about him. Sage Liu hesitated for a moment before shaking his head. Yang Zuan, there's no two-star sage by that name in the city. I even know some three-star sages, but none of them match this description. Sage John sneered, probably just a scammer. He already mentioned it himself. To have an audience, one must submit three million before. As for a genuine sage, who would bother with such nonsense? Sage Cheng had a plan. Actually, whether he's a fraud or not is quite simple to ascertain. Tian's longevity celebration is just a few days away, and tomorrow happens to be a quiet day. We can attend, and if he's not a real sage, we can expose him. Sage John also expressed interest. The profession of sage cannot be mocked. If there's an imposter, I want to see who dares to impersonate. Sage Liu didn't want to miss out either. Count me in. I must admit, I'm quite curious. Master Yuan Yu agreed. Agreed. Tomorrow, we'll take the three of us there. The next morning, Sage Zhang Zhuan, unaware of the anticipation surrounding him, greeted the new day cheerfully, instructing his steward, Sun Kong, I have to go out for a bit. If anyone comes looking for me, tell them to wait outside. The steward promptly replied, Yes, sir. With a bright smile, he thought to himself as he walked, Today, I'll visit the city's scroll repository. Perhaps I can fill in the missing pieces of the Azure Aperture Realm technique and successfully advance. Upon arriving, Grandmaster Lu Chen hastily apologized. Zhang, my apologies. Zhang Zhuan, with a bewildered expression, asked, I'm sorry, does that mean we can't go to the scroll repository? Grandmaster Lu Chen shook his head and replied, it's not about that. It's about my unruly son. How could his unruly son have anything to do with him? Zhang Chuan inquired. Your son? Lu Chen explained. Exactly. I just heard yesterday that my disobedient son caused trouble for you. Conducting a teacher evaluation with you. It's my fault. Today, I asked him to come and admit his mistake. Surprised with a peculiar expression, Zhang Chuan continued. Teacher evaluation. Grandmaster Lu. You're not talking about your son, Lu Shen, are you? With a bitter laugh, Lu Chen nodded and recounted. Indeed, it's that disobedient son. Three years ago, he argued with me, left home, and never returned. This was all too coincidental. Still, Teacher Zhang maintained his cheerful demeanor as he said to him, If the match is already prepared, there's no need to trouble Grandmaster Lu. Otherwise, he might think I'm afraid and sought help, fighting with a son. Seeking the father's help, it's no different from educating students and seeking their parents. Grandmaster Lu, carrying an air of reliance, continued, Zhang, my son has never suffered any consequences since childhood, accustomed to arrogance. If you intervene, you must make him aware of the danger, make him realize that there are others more formidable than him. Don't let him remain arrogant. Zhang Xuan felt quite pleased with this arrangement and agreed readily. As Zhang Zhuan and Grandmaster Lu Chen walked along the road, they chatted casually and before long, they arrived at the scroll repository of the city. This place housed countless scrolls collected from all over the city. Being the Grandmaster, it was not difficult for Lu Chen to bring someone here. He handed a token to Teacher Zhang, instructing him, This is Shen Tu King's Dragon Scale token. With it, you can freely access and read the books inside. Just make sure not to disturb any formation techniques within. I won't accompany you further. Zhang Zhuan gratefully clasped his hands and said, Thank you, Grandmaster Lu. Grandmaster Lu chuckled and replied, There's no need for such formality between us. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave. 
Feel free to explore inside as you wish. No one will disturb you. That's even better. Without saying another word, Zhang Xuan took the dragon scale token and entered. Stepping inside, he couldn't help but marvel. Truly the scroll repository of the city. It would be quite a task to copy all these books into the Heavenly Way bookstore. Inside the scroll repository, the sound of flipping pages echoed. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Grandmaster Yu and Yu also brought along the three masters, Liu, Cheng, and John, straight to Zhang Zhuan's rented mansion for the month. Yu and Ye halted and said, This is the residence of that esteemed person. Master Liu nodded and said, Go inform them. He immediately proceeded forward and addressed the gatekeeper. Excuse me. Please inform the master of the house. You and you is here to pay respects. Inside, upon hearing the voice, Sun Kong opened the door and stepped out, speaking briskly. To me, our master, you must submit three million beforehand. Then wait at the gate. When our master wishes to see you, he will call you in. You and you, a renowned figure in upper-class circles, was taken aback by the situation. Feeling somewhat awkward, he said to Sun Kong, I am Yu Yu, here to visit the master of your house. For someone as insignificant as Sun Kong, he had no knowledge of who Yu Yu was. He simply pointed to his chest arrogantly and reiterated, Regardless of who you are, Yu Yu, or whatever, can't you hear what I said? Pay three million up front and wait here. Maybe our master will see you, or else just leave. Don't linger here. Feeling satisfied inwardly, he thought, our master is a distinguished figure, and people should know their place. No matter how capable you are, you must show respect to us. You and you, the esteemed master, felt a surge of anger in his chest. Master Liu stepped forward, speaking gently in place of others. We are just passing through this place. We wish to meet the master of your household. Please inform him. Before he could finish his sentence, Sun Kong strode up to him, arrogantly grabbing his beard, and asked, Old man, can't you hear what I said clearly? To meet the master of our house, you need to pay three million up front. If you don't have the money, scram. This is the rule, and rules cannot be broken. Do you understand? Behind him stood Master Yuan and two other masters, silently observing. Master Liu restrained himself, taking out a jade token and raising it, saying, Young man, please calm down and show some manners. Let's not resort to violence. This is my jade token of credentials. And if you... Before the jade token could reach Sun Kong's hand, he flung it away like a pebble, exclaiming, What's your problem? These broken jades are all over Tian Chuang City. Don't think you can deceive Sun Kong with such trash. What we want are real promissory notes. Master Liu nearly stumbled. As for a master, such tokens symbolize their status. Master Yuan quickly stepped forward and called out, Sun Kong. Here's the three million. Please inform your master promptly. Despite the fiery rage burning within Master Liu behind him, Sun Chong turned around with the promissory notes in hand and said to them, This will do for now. Consider yourselves lucky that I'm letting you off lightly. If you have the money, bring it out sooner next time. As for those worthless jades, I've never seen anyone as stingy. Don't you know that Sun Kong here has principles? If you don't have the money, don't even dream. He tucked the promissory notes into his robe and continued. All right, wake here. Our master has just stepped out. Wait for him to return and he'll graciously receive you. Yu and Yu's eyebrows twitched, his eyes glaring in anger. He's already gone out. Why didn't you say so earlier? You collect the money first and then inform us. And now you say we have to wait for him to return. If I were alone, I'd just leave. But with the three gentlemen behind me, how can we wait here? He forced a gentle smile. Please, young steward, could you quickly inform him? We have an urgent matter to discuss with your master. Sun Kong glanced at the group suspiciously. What urgent matter? Yu and Yu replied. It's a private matter that needs to be discussed with your master. It's not suitable to discuss it with a junior like Sun. Confidently, Sun Kong pointed to himself and exclaimed. What's there to hesitate about? I follow your master every day and have learned a lot. Simple matters even without your master's intervention, can be resolved. Master Liu, having calmed down, asked skeptically, So, can you understand my issue? Sun Kong observed him for a moment, then asked, Is your household doing well? Master Liu was taken aback by the unexpected question. Is he inquiring about my family? 
he stammered, you, what did you say? Sun Kong shouted loudly, I'm simply asking about your family, inquiring if they're in good health. The people behind him were also stunned, murmuring to themselves. This guy is really asking about Master Liu's family. He's so confident, scolding Master Liu without fear. Ignoring the anger and fear evident in the others, he pondered to himself, why isn't it working? Every time the master speaks, he manages to provoke anger. Yet he asks in such a precise manner, immediately earning the respect of the other party. Let's try again. Sun Kong raised his delicate hand and made a grasping gesture, continuing, or perhaps I should feel your wife to test. The flames atop Master Liu's head flared even higher as he retorted, or maybe you're just a beast, feasting on the fat of the forest. This time, the flames rose even more fiercely. The two other masters behind him had to each hold one side, whispering, Master Liu, stay calm. We're not sure about the person behind us. A lowly steward daring to speak such words. If the other party's master is truly formidable and they kill their steward, then it will be difficult to negotiate. Yes, it's better to be cautious. State your identity first. Let the other party know. See how they react. Master Jean stepped forward to remind. Son, pay attention to your words. This is Lei Lai, the esteemed Marshal King of the Northern Marshal City. He retorted boldly, I don't care who you are. But halfway through his sentence, he turned pale and asked, What did you say? Master, he's a master. Seeing his apprehension, Master Cheng continued, All right, go inform your master. Tell them that Masters Liu Lai, John Qian, and Zheng Fei are here to visit. We'll personally discuss matters with your master. Sun Kyung trembled, his whole body shrinking, and replied, But early this morning, the master has already gone out. I don't know when he'll be back. Li Li's eyes flared with anger as he snapped back. What did you say? You don't know when he'll be back. Zhang Qian quickly intervened. All right, let's go. He handed over a note of instruction. Take this. It's our invitation. Hold on to it. With trembling hands, the steward took the invitation. The masters turned to leave, adding, We'll return when your master is back. You and you, let's go. Yu and Ye also turned to follow them. Left behind, Sun Kong fell to the ground, despairing, thinking, It seems like I can't always stand up for myself. If I die, I won't even know why. Even if someone kills me, I won't stand up for myself anymore. As his soul nearly departed from his body in fear, the guards hurriedly ran out to inquire, Steward's son. In summary, with his soul almost leaving his body, he sat on the horse and left the steward's residence. Master Zan Qian asked, Master Zheng, what do you think? Zheng Fei adjusted his glasses gently and replied, Those who live in this steward's residence are not ordinary. If he's truly a master, I'm afraid his rank is not lower than ours. You and you, the Grand Master, somewhat puzzled, asked, But if we haven't seen the owner of the steward's residence, how can we be sure his rank isn't lower than yours? Master Liu chimed in, Indeed, we haven't met him. But judging by his steward, we can tell. Don't be fooled by his appearance. But... Master John interrupted. Exactly, just judging from his physique. This steward is not only inadequate, but also extremely poor. He explained. In theory, reaching the peak of the triple refinement of true key Rome in martial arts cultivation would be considered very fortunate. Did you see earlier how powerful he is? Grandmaster Yuan responded. His martial cultivation has reached the fourth heaven of the venerable warrior stage. Master Zheng also observed this, reasoning. His strength has reached the late stage of the bone-tempering realm, and even his demeanor indicates that he's unrestrained in his vital energy control. This breakthrough must be recent, and considering what you mentioned earlier, Sun Kong was just recruited. Before that, he was merely a merchant. This shows that his strength increased after receiving guidance from the steward of the residence. Master Liu's expression turned serious as he added, With such poor physique, his cultivation techniques wouldn't have been effective either. The vital energy in his body must have been sedimented like mud for a long time, causing blockages in his meridians. The opponent not only facilitated his breakthrough in just a few days, but also directly elevated him to nearly a much higher level. This kind of method, even for us, would be difficult to achieve. Master Zan also chimed in, If I'm not mistaken, the opponent likely used the purest vital energy to attack the shackles within his body. 
even harmonizing with his impure vital energy residues. This is the only way to facilitate such a rapid breakthrough, possibly even reaching the late stage of the bone-tempering realm. Indeed, it was a discussion filled with profound knowledge. Master Jang speculated, it's possible to harmonize with sedimented vital energy while simultaneously helping him reopen his meridians. This person's vital energy level must have reached at least the intermediate stage of the venerable warrior realm, or perhaps even the level of a grandmaster in cultivation. Master Liu nodded in agreement, concluding, whether it's a martial cultivator at the intermediate stage of the vital energy realm or a grandmaster, even if this person isn't a master, they're not someone we should offend. And if they are a master, even if their level isn't higher than ours, their potential is much greater than ours. Old Master Jean smiled faintly and reflected. When we truly targeted his steward earlier, it was akin to shattering his face. There won't be a chance to change the situation later. We merely extended a kindness to a minor figure. I'm sure after learning our identities earlier, they were intimidated into foolishness. Grandmaster Yuan, sitting nearby, listened to these speculations with awe and admiration. Impressive. Just a glance, and they can analyze so much truly worthy of being called masters. Their insight is truly terrifying. He then asked, Since this person isn't in the residence, what should we do now? Old Master Liu furrowed his brow and replied, Just because they're not in the residence doesn't mean we can't determine their identity. Wait for them to return and report back to King. Spread the word that those who have been treated by this Yang Zuan character for the past few days should be summoned to the palace. We must witness it firsthand to confirm whether they are indeed a master or not. A single glance will reveal the truth. The three masters converged and entered the reception room, warmly welcomed by the steward. Unbeknownst to them, Zhang Xuan was currently in Scroll Repository City, exclaiming in joy, success. His face lit up with excitement as he continued, I spent the entire morning reading books, and I finally completed the Six Heaven Crossing Divine Art. Let's see how my cultivation goes. Alone in the room, with no fear of causing any disturbance, Teacher Zhang immediately sat down to cultivate. As soon as he began, a powerful spiritual energy descended and flooded into his body. After an unknown amount of time, Zhang Zhuan opened his eyes, his expression one of disbelief as he muttered to himself, I've managed to open all 108 meridians. According to legend, the human body has a total of 108 meridians, but only 72 can be opened. Moreover, these meridians have a specific order, depending on each individual's nature. Without finding the right method, it's feared that one may never open 30 to 40 meridians in their lifetime, thus hindering further progress. Opening 100 meridians adds 100 peaks to the Azure Aperture Realm, and adding 20 more peaks brings it to a total of 210 peaks. Taking a moment to calculate, Teacher Zhang's eyes sparkled with insight. If the elementary realm is likened to 100 peaks, the intermediate realm to 200 peaks, the advanced realm to 300 peaks, and the pinnacle realm to 400 peaks, then my strength surpasses that of an intermediate realm cultivator. He rose from his seat, regret tinged in his voice as he placed his hand on the bookshelf, saying, It's a pity that there are no records of the sevenfold false martial techniques here. Those techniques are found in Tian Xuan City, considered the pinnacle of cultivator prowess. One cannot simply obtain them here. But his face immediately lit up with joy. Even without those techniques, coming here is still progress. I'll have to explore elsewhere for martial arts. After delving into the Twelve Meridians retreat, Zhang Zhuan switched to the Taiji Chamber, flipping through books on the 34 heavenly formations, and then onto the essence of dragon soaring, all the while holding books in his hands. With a cheerful demeanor, Teacher Zhang mused, Wang Yin's legs are injured. Even with body-enhancing elixirs, fully mastering combat against someone with excellent retreat techniques and swift speed like Du Lei might be challenging. However, with proficient body movement technique and blocking technique, the odds of victory are not insignificant. He attempted to organize the collected book's contents, finding them entirely accurate. Zhang Zhuan happily held up the volumes, flowing wind steps, and degeneration of natural law. Let's see what profound insights are revealed within this time. After reading a few pages, he realized, couldn't be that these two sets of martial arts are all just the most basic ones, hence only forming a single technique like this, a new combination of sword techniques. One-tenth of a breath could fly up to 20 meters, 
as fast as moving in an instant. Not a bad harvest. Let's continue. Inside the scroll repository, the sound of flipping pages echoed. In the magnificent and vast city, Du Mo Tian, who used to be a humble elder of the Du family, was now summoned to the palace by Shen Tu King. Suddenly, he recognized a familiar face and asked in astonishment, Senior Brother Chen Chao, why are you all here? Senior Brother Chen Chao replied coldly, We receive an invitation from the king, presumably related to the Marshal Dao. Ling Tian Yu added, After all, we've all benefited from the Marshal Dao's grace. Du Mo Tian nodded, That's likely. Without further ado, they encouraged each other. Let's go in then. Inside the city, discussions flourished. Senior Liu and Senior Zhang from the Baifang Martial Arts Academy, along with Senior Cheng from the Hanwu City, have come to the city together to pay respects to Yuan Zhuan. Others agreed. Indeed, after the visit, it's said that Ling Tian Yu and Du Mo Tian were summoned to the palace overnight. We don't know what happened. But the next day, the three seniors personally visited the mansion again. Moreover, they came to visit for five consecutive days, but couldn't meet anyone. Others exclaimed, Oh my, it's truly astonishing. Even the esteemed senior masters couldn't meet him. We know Senior Liu, who is considered among the top tier of one-star senior masters. If someone of this caliber is being blocked at the gate, then this nominal aristocrat must have quite the background. I doubt he's merely a two-star senior master. They say senior master, but without verification. This Yang Zhuang character is probably a fake. Senior masters enjoy traveling, honing their skills, experiencing ordinary life to broaden their perspectives and elevate their souls. Could it be that this individual is also a high-level senior master visiting from somewhere else? Another nodded in agreement, adding, If that's the case, then Tian Xuan City must truly be flourishing. His companion nodded, Exactly. Senior masters symbolize the nation's strength. If a city has three-star senior masters, they could request noble titles. Once a city reaches the level of noble titles, it gains the authority to establish major formations, engage in trade of various materials, receive visits from numerous nations, bringing many benefits. It's hard to imagine. Reporting to Shen Tu King, a subordinate said, Your Majesty, although the identities of the three senior masters have yet to be confirmed and are still under speculation, this Yang Zhuang character seems undoubtedly formidable. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so easy for him to heal so many people. Even if he's not a senior master, he might be a grand master physician. Perhaps, the patriarch has been saved. Upon hearing this, Shen Tu King felt hopeful and immediately issued an order. Dispatch strict guards. Once this nominal aristocrat returns, report to me immediately. I must personally see him. At Hong Than Academy, in Lu Shen's lecture hall. Teacher Lu, I heard that the senior masters are here to recruit disciples. Excitedly, someone remarked, This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If this nominal aristocrat selects us as his disciples, becoming senior masters in the future is just a matter of time. Teacher Wang also chimed in cheerfully, Exactly, regardless, we must pay our respects and leave a good impression in front of the nominal aristocrat. Suddenly remembering something, he asked, By the way, what about Zhang Zhuan? Lu Shen, with an air of superiority, replied, He's just a stepping stone for us on the path to becoming senior masters. Don't worry about him. I've selected students to compete with his, and they're secretly cultivating. In a few days, they'll likely break through to a higher realm. We're sure to achieve great success in this teacher evaluation, attracting the attention of the senior masters. Upon hearing this, teacher Wang hastily congratulated him. Well, that's great. Congratulations in advance. Lu Shen, without a hint of modesty, accepted. Thank you. Thank you. At this hour, in the scroll repository of the city, Zhang Zhuan clumsily reached his trembling hands to the bottom shelf inside. Spending five days in the scroll repository without rest had left him exhausted. His eyes began to see stars, yet he still staggered towards the final shelf, reassuring himself. After toiling for days, it's finally coming to an end. Teacher Zhang grabbed the tom from the shelf, muttering, Let's see what kind of books are here. To his surprise, this shelf was filled with books related to poison, but obtaining resources at the scroll repository city wasn't easy, so he shrugged. Though I don't intend to become a poison master, I'll still give them a read, just to be wary of potential threats. After an hour, 
He had finished examining all the documents related to poison, stepping outside into the sunlight, feeling grateful. Five consecutive days and nights without sleep, coupled with intense mental strain, even the pinnacle of the Azure Aperture Realm can't endure it. It's time to get some rest. But then he remembered something. All right, I can't sleep just yet. It's still over ten days until I buy the breakthrough pill and Renosuro's blood. They should be arriving soon. In the end, he decided, I should return to the mansion for a trip. Hopefully, someone has come looking for me during these past few days. That way, I can gather enough money. Teacher Zhang walked while lamenting. So sleepy. So sleepy indeed. Unbeknownst to him, the entire capital was eagerly awaiting his appearance. On the main road, Zhang Liu and Zhang Mu walked together, with Zhang Mu casually remarking, Ahead is the residence of Du Zhao. That guy is wealthy but unscrupulous, involved in many nefarious deeds. Even though he encountered bandits, his business faced obstacles. It's like a sick camel compared to a horse. They stole once and could live off it for several days. They were notorious thieves in Tian Xuan City, specializing in robbing the wealthy and redistributing to the poor, considering it righteous. Zhang Liu turned to his brother and said, However, timing is crucial. We must identify the guards' routines to strike. He glanced ahead and continued, Just a little further, we're almost there. I've been here once before. But they had miscalculated. As they arrived at the mansion, they found a long queue stretching for miles, leaving them astonished. What's going on here? Zhang Liu spotted someone rushing and exclaimed, Quick, look, that's Baoji Shenlong. Zhang Mu was skeptical. Didn't he disappear after being injured in a confrontation with a powerful beast, vanishing before the eyes of many? Indeed, it's Baji Shen Long, Li Wang Kai, and the other person is Long Yan, the master of sealing techniques. Zhang Mu looked at the crowd standing in front of the mansion, bewildered. Han Tzu Cheng, the top expert, on par with Shen Tu King, at the Transcendent Realm Intermediate Stage. How could he be queuing up here? Hu Xiao Bai, the white-faced scholar, Zhao Ying Yan from the Nine Rivers Mystics, Tribulus Dragon Chuan Hai. Zhang Liu quickly gathered his siblings, reminding them, these people, each one is a renowned expert in Tian Zhuan City. The weakest among them has reached the Transcendent Realm initial stage. We can't afford to be discovered by them. His siblings were curious, but these experts are all extremely arrogant, looking down on everyone. Initially, when Shen Tu King invited them, hardly anyone showed up. Why are they lining up here now? John replied, I don't know. But if we encounter them, even if we wanted to flee, we wouldn't stand a chance. We'd be killed on the spot. Two of them leaned against the wall, scratching their heads, lost in thought. It's been a while since we last returned. We thought we'd find a big wealthy house to relax for a while. But it turned out like this. Who would have thought it would be so troublesome? Zhang Nu asked, Boss, should we continue with the thefts? The boss immediately scolded, Theft. Go steal from your own house. He looked up to the sky and said, Hold on, we can't go in. Even if we could, with so many experts standing at the gate, I fear we'd be dead before reaching the door. Suddenly, they heard the sound of horse-drawn carriage and quickly turned their heads. The large carriage, accompanied by guards, the person stepping down from the carriage was none other than Shen Tu King. They had assumed the owner of the mansion was the wealthy Du Zhao. But to their surprise, someone remarked, Indeed, the city won't find peace. Unexpectedly, the king himself has come. As King arrived, the crowd respectfully bowed their heads. Greetings, your majesty. You're early today. Your position has been secured. Please proceed. Two petty thieves were left speechless. What's going on? Is the king of Tan Juan queuing up as well? Can someone tell us who exactly lives in this mansion? Having left their hometown for several years, they felt like they had stepped into ancient times. And the surprises didn't end there. Someone else is coming. They immediately recognized. These are senior masters. Three one-star senior masters. Shen Tu King bowed and said, Greetings, Senior Liu, Senior Zhan, Senior Cheng. The two sighed with relief. So it turns out the three masters are here to lecture. No wonder even King himself came. Luckily they haven't acted yet, or else we'd be dead by now. Zhang Mu glanced over, puzzled. But big brother, if the masters are here to lecture, why aren't they going in? Zhang Liu, equally unaware, replied, 
Exactly. Could there be another owner of this estate? As the gates of the estate swung open, Sun Kong stepped out, causing them to startle upon seeing him. This isn't Sun Kong. Isn't he the property agent in Tian Xie? Shen Tu King stepped forward and asked, Sun, the steward, has the master returned today? Sun Kyung's face turned pale as he responded, I'm truly embarrassed. The master has yet to return. Please come inside, sirs. If indeed the master returns, I will dispatch someone to inform you. Sun Kyung knelt on the ground, tears streaming down, raising his hands to the sky. Oh heavens, please swiftly bring our master back. Facing such powerful individuals every day, I can no longer bear it. Li Lai spoke up, still not back. Then today, let's wait here. Everyone, please stay or, um. Before Sun Chang could finish his sentence, his gaze fixed on someone. He once again sobbed. Master, master. He rushed back to the master's place, where the master still hadn't grasped why there was such a crowd gathering outside his door. He silently wondered, what's going on? What's with this long queue snaking outside? The two thieves, Zhang Liu and Zhang Mu, were gaping in amazement. Sir, it's you who has made so many people wait. This person isn't growing three heads and six arms. How could he make both the king and the masters willingly wait outside? He asked. Sun Kong, what's going on here? Release my foot. Sun Kong reluctantly let go of his foot and explained. Sir, finally, he's back. These people have all come looking for him. As King approached the masters, intending to speak, he was abruptly interrupted. I'm asking my butler here, who gave you permission to butt in. The Zhang brothers stood nearby eavesdropping, hardly able to believe it. Oh my, this is beyond belief. This is the king of Tian Zuan city, yet he talks like that. Sun Kong widened his eyes, indeed, as expected of Sir, still fierce as ever. Not even the king bothers to cross him. The master instructed Sun Chong, continue speaking. Sun Chong continued, During these past few days when you were away, all these people came to pay their respects to you, including King Shen Tui, and also, the master looked around and asked, The king has also come. Where is he? Where? Shen Tui pretended to clear his throat and raised his hand coyly. It is I. The master was taken aback. You, a king, and yet you have no air of royalty at all. I just returned from scroll repository at his place, and now I find you here, instructing him. This, this. King gestured towards the three masters. I present to you, esteemed guests. These three are Master Liu, Master Chang, and Master John. He hesitated for a moment, recalling, Master Liu, the master. He reminded himself, isn't it said that Tian Xuan City has no masters? How come three have suddenly appeared? I've only been away for a few days, and now all this has happened. The three masters stepped forward politely to greet him. Master Liu Lai, Master Zhang Qian, Master Zheng Fei. Greetings to the esteemed guest. The host entered first, conveniently inviting them inside. Gentlemen, please come inside with me. Zheng Fei remarked, Liu Lai, what do you think? Li Lai replied, he's in disguise, not showing his true appearance. Judging by his skin and movements, he's probably very young. Definitely not yet 30 years old, probably not even 25. Zhang Qian added, it's understandable for him not to reveal his true face. Not even 25 yet in this remote and desolate land, how could there be such a young master? Moreover, as you've all seen, his spirit seems weary. If he were a real master... How could he appear in such a state? If he's fake, it won't be long before we find out. The guests sat down comfortably and asked them, showing no deference even to King Shen Tu, who was still standing. He said, I wonder what brings the three masters here today. Liu Lai responded, Oh, we heard that you are proficient in medical arts and skilled in assisting others in their cultivation breakthroughs. We've come to seek your guidance. Specifically, what it is about, please tell us. Actually, this master here is Yuan Swan, with an inherently greedy nature, which is hard to deny. Now, whether to address him as Sir or Young Master, I'm not sure. Let's just follow the appearance. He thought, not good, too sleepy, must quickly earn 200,000, buy the medicinal materials, then find a place to take a nap. Li Lai sounded a bit annoyed. Indeed, the master sets the tone. I've always said how the steward over there doesn't care about anyone. 
Turns out he learned it from the master. Jun Qian approached with his voice. It's me, having some cultivation issues. Wanting to seek advice from the experienced, currently I've reached the peak of the transcendent realm, just a step away from the half-step grandmaster. But no matter how I cultivate, I always feel a flow of energy in my body extremely slow, unable to break through this final step. Tried all methods, but still don't know why, hoping the experienced can point me in the right direction. The experienced raised an eyebrow. Peak of the transcendent realm, huh? You think my current strength is only at the peak of the Azure Aperture realm? I want to know how to cultivate to the transcendent realm as well. Whenever encountering something, you ask for half-step grandmaster. The problem of this experience one really gives people a headache. Okay, come on, show me what you've got. Zhang Qian was slightly surprised, but quickly agreed. A spar, sure. Zhang Zhuan, the experienced one, gestured and temporarily borrowed the Heavenly Way bookstore to spar. Zhang Qian grabbed his hand and launched a straight punch forward. Just that one punch blasted the door of the room, projecting straight out through the outer wall. Sun Kong, gaping, secretly thought to himself, Wow, the spiritual energy circulates freely within the body, and the power is so strong that it punches into the surrounding air, echoing again and again, truly deserving of the title Transcendent Realm Powerhouse. Meanwhile, the experienced one was immersed in the bookstore. John Qian turned to him and said, Please give your feedback. The experienced one replied, To give feedback is actually quite simple, but I'm afraid you won't believe it. Here's the thing, I'll help you break through. Reach the half-step grandmaster realm. How about that? John Qian was surprised. You can help me break through. The experienced one, skeptical, muttered to himself. A doctor can't heal himself, and an experienced one can't guide oneself. Though I want to break through, unfortunately, I've been constrained for over a year now unable to succeed. But maybe he can. The experienced one poured tea and replied, I can make breakthroughs in 10 minutes, but a breakthrough in 10 minutes. The other two experienced ones couldn't help but be surprised either. They thought, we've helped him look through it before. It's difficult to make a breakthrough in such a short time. And yet this trickster claims it can be done in 10 minutes. Zhang Xuan took a sip of tea and continued, I've given you the opportunity. The choice is yours. I, fine, go ahead and guide me. Saying so, John Qian still didn't completely trust those words. The experienced one, with a serious expression, thought, if what you say is true, and you can make me break through, then you're truly formidable. If not, I'll see how I deal with you. John Zhuan turned to Sun Kong and said, decision made. Sun Kong, go get some sacks, then call a few guards over here with sticks. The four guests looked at each other in confusion. Sticks, sacks, guards? Weren't we talking about making a breakthrough? What's this about capturing pigs? A few minutes later, Sun Kong led in five to six guards. Master, we're here, as per your instructions. The experienced one gestured towards Zhan Qian, his face beaming as he addressed the guards. This Master Zhan here seeks a breakthrough, hoping for your assistance. The guards replied in unison. To aid the Master is our honor. So be it. He continued. Perhaps trouble Master Liu, help seal Master Zan's acupuncture points, rendering him immobile. Can you do that? Zan Qian, puzzled, remarked, sealing acupuncture points renders one unable to move. How can one cultivate when the flow of energy is obstructed? If you wish to break through, don't ask too many questions, just follow my instructions. If not, I see no reason to exert effort. 